Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. Um, you know, and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly uh, appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching videos for a while, I have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe, you know, and just give you insight that you truly appreciate it or you need it at the time, please go ahead and share. You never know. It might help somebody along the way as well. And um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, the ego is dissolving rapidly and you're receiving the peace uh, you truly deserve you are you know you've been going through a lot of things and you're allowing yourself to see everything as in a part of perspective is, is is getting you to where you you know is getting you in that right direction you don't know where that direction is but you it is making you feel like you know what I'm learning everything I'm allowing myself to go step by step you know I'm not allowing myself to fear the future because the future isn't here yet I'm allowing myself to just learn and appreciate from the past and allow myself to be in the present of the now you know um, and it's just like sometimes we can be on that vibration where we're just now finding out about our spiritual purpose we're just trying to find you know because it's just like a lot of times, especially doing the videos, you know, it, you don't know where somebody's vibration is at at that time, you know, because a lot of times you you cannot you, you can you don't know how to be able to tell the difference at, at that time from your intuitive, your intuition and your ego. You know, you, you may be, you know, at the vibe, like I said in different videos, I did not realize that um, I was doing victim blaming, you know, or victim vibrations. I was projecting that out. You know, I didn't know that. Until I start, you know, doing different research. Because this is just like when I said, when I was doing these videos, I, I, I there was no instructions for that. Because I don't even know. I was just like, okay, do, do, do videos, what do you mean? Do videos for what? You know, and then when I started, I, you know, I didn't know all these different things that was going to go on from like, you know, it was going on six years that I've been doing this. And it, it was just like finding out all these new different things about myself has truly been, um... It's been something, you know, it's been something. It's been very amazing for me to do that because it's like even through everything that I've gone through, everything I experienced, everything I learned it is creating something in me. I never expected in my life. You know, I really never expected in my life and just being able to do that because sometimes you don't know. You can't expect somebody to already know. And it's not saying, oh, duh, they, they should have common sense. And it's like, no, you don't want to do that. You know, because a lot of times people can be moving forward in their ego and not even realize that some people do. And some people just don't care and be like, oh, you know, I've been like this and I'm okay with it. Like, hey, if that's how you want to do. That's how you want to do. But if a person's like, you know what, I want my life to be different. You know, I want to explore different things. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm ready to explore something different. Then you're allowing yourself to different that word. You're telling the difference between different things. It's just certain words I cannot say. And I say, I'm tired of trying, you know, I'm trying to be like, you know, just saying, okay, let me try to say this word. And I'm just like, no. Gonna be sometime I'll be talking to somebody and they can't say it either. I'm like, you know, we go to the kids and the kids can't even say, like, what are you trying to say? Like, oh, can you just pick my brain for a minute and know what I'm talking about? But, uh, you know, just being able to do that because sometimes, you know, you're on your path and you're really trying to understand where is my thing? You know, where is my vibe? Is there anybody who understands me? Is there anybody who is on that click to know, not in a click, but just in that vibration of where I'm at? You know, because sometimes I can speak on things and people really just don't get me, you know. And then you're trying to find that because there's so many times y'all don't drop lines to me like that. Like, you know, it can feel very emotionally, you know, calming. When you know there's somebody out here that really knows what I'm experiencing. They really understand what I'm talking about. Because there's sometimes I can understand what my issue is, but I can't explain it. You know what I'm saying? You know in your mind. But if you're explaining it to somebody, you're like, uh, do you understand what I'm talking about? No, I don't. No, I <laughs> know like, I don't. I don't understand what you're talking about. And then it, it's just like, but when you're getting to that point where even things are being 
uh, it, it can feel like there's a lot of friction going on. Even going through your transition, transition, you got to be able to expect the unexpected. It can be very smooth sailing at times, and then it can be very heavy, you know. And then it can be very aggravating. And then it'd be like, you know what? If you do, if you if, if you you do one more thing, I'm, I'm about to snap. Then it'd be like, you know, this is that time, the time out. You know, go ahead. You know, step away. You know, do that. You know, because a lot of times I had to be able to tell myself it's going to be challenging at times, but you have to be able to allow yourself to go with the go with the current. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're stepping into something new. This is not something you're used to, you know, because sometimes you can be that type of person that give up quick. Sometimes it can be that type of person. You can be that type of person that'll make a commitment. And then when it's time to come to that commitment, you back out of it at the last minute, you know, but when you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, I'm going towards this commitment. And I'm gonna stick to it. And a lot of times, when you're when you're becoming something new, it's it's kind of hard for you to actually stick to it at times. And it can be very frustrating. Let me say that. I'm not saying it can be hard, but a lot of times it can be very frustrating. And it, you have to be able to understand. Be easy with yourself. You know, you you becoming a whole new person. You you moving at a different vibe. And this is at that time where they're telling you, you know, even the littlest steps that you're taking out of that norm, congratulate yourself. Congratulate yourself. If you're writing down, like, say, you know, I want this in my life. Like, okay, I want to gain confidence in my life. Okay, how you want to go about gaining confidence in your life. You, now, you know what you got going on in your life where you're really wanting to step up that game. Because it could be something, you know, like people are, you know, I'm meeting um, a few people. Well, uh, many people um, on my my channel where there there is a, uh, a let me know how I say that. There is a few people, so I'm trying to do 20 different things, saying 20 different things at one time. So I'm like, ooh, OCD moment here. And apologize about that. But there's different people that are doing um, probably the same purpose as mine or different purposes. And they're they're doing channels. And they're like, Roslyn, you know, you do it so natural and stuff like that. And I said, who told you that? You know, it's like because you seem so natural and stuff like that. There's time, sometimes I get nervous, especially if it's like about something that I'm not used to or there are certain things that I'm experiencing that I'm not used to or there's things that universe is guiding me to talk about that I'm not really understanding but I'm in that vibration of being open to learn and there's sometimes I'm very nervous you know but it's good when y'all can't tell that so I'm like, Dang, you know I'm getting good at it but you know and it's okay to be nervous but you're stepping out of things you're stepping out of the norm and you're going towards something that's very deserving of you because you're you're taking that first step to change. You're taking that first step to do something different. You're allowing yourself to be um, uh, different towards that. You're allowing yourself to go with the flow. You know, because certain things is like with me. I love being able to use meditative music in the back of my videos. It's very calming. I want you to be able to watch my videos and you have a calming vibe. You know, you may have had a hectic day at work or you have a hectic day around different energy that is really not conflicting with you. You know, so you want to come watch my video. You know, because it's either you're going to get something that's going to make you cry. Um, not cry like being depressed, but cry to give you that vibration to say, you know what, Roz is totally getting me. Or this is something I've been going through and I'm really trying to understand if you know I'm putting my finger on it and I've really been trying to understand how am I going to explain this and Rosalind said it or there are certain things that I've gone through and trying to find my way out of it and next thing you know you got through that so that you know I'm, I'm doing different things I'm coming different ways there's some and you know even if you've been with me for a while there'll be sometimes you don't hear from me you know for a, a few days you know or you're like Rosalind I'll drop this comment to you and you haven't even responded because especially um, if you've been with me for a while, because there's a lot of people been with me from A1 to Bay 1. And I always tell them I love y'all so much for that. Because there'll be sometimes y'all know I'll hit it right. You know, I'll hit your responses right away. But then there'll be times that, you know, I may be at my chill moment and I'm trying to recharge, re, you know, recuperate. So there may be a few days. Or it could be that time where universe is telling me I got to shut down everything and just focus on me. So there'll be times you're like, okay, well, Rosalind must be, you know doing some things or going through some things so I know she'll come back to me but then there's some people are like dang it they pay because there's sometimes on some of these YouTube channels that people are just hearted or you know there'll be certain people that they'll respond to or sometimes they don't even respond at all but it's just like with me I can't go off of everybody else I only can talk about me you know um and it's just like like I said we're all going through a purpose 
you know we're all going through different things and it's just like when people are discovering themselves and they're being led towards a purpose on being on a platform like this and they're like Rosalyn do you have times I said look you have to understand I've been doing it for six years you see my views you know and it's like I'm not trying to discourage you but then I tell people you know don't don't compare your channel to what your purpose is and what your content is to somebody else because it can be very frustrating you don't know the people that they know you don't know if they've had um connections with other people because there's a some time because i don't even know if they even still do sub for subs that when i first started a lot of people were doing sub for subs you know um on that and there's a lot of people that have you know stopped doing you know stopped watching my videos but there's also been some people i had to block out as well um and then i tell people you have to understand there there's different things is going so don't get discouraged don't stop doing what you're doing because it's not flowing the way you want because sometimes you want you want to do a video now it's different if you're doing the uh the pranks or you're doing celebrity gossip or you're doing things that are like animation or you're doing the ones with the gaming you know those those you know pick up you know or people doing the horror shorts or you're doing the crime videos or you're doing the riddick you know videos or you're doing the ones with the tiktok compilations and stuff like that it's all depending on that but do you know you go by your purpose on your doing day by day you know but don't get discouraged on that if it's not you're not being a you know overnight celebrity or it's taking you a minute to get views or it's taking a minute for you to get subs you know if you're being consistent because you know in me in my mind when I first started you know I was thinking oh if I do a few videos every few days or every couple of weeks I'll start getting views like these other people that can make one for five minutes and next thing you know they got over you know 1.2k you know um and stuff like that but then it was just like no universe is saying you got to be consistent you got to be consistent or you know what are you you know and anytime somebody asked me you know Roslyn uh, about content on the platform and I asked them first thing I asked them hey what's the, what, what's your content about what what your flow is and I love when I'm able to do that because um I'll send them hey you know uh, what's what's your flow you know, and I'll tell me, hey, you know, do videos about this. And I said, write this down, you know, put this. I was like, wow, that's great. Thank you. Because not a lot of people will do that to where they'll take that time out and tell you, hey, you know, um, you know, do a topic about this. Or, you know, you're opening up and telling your story about what brought you here. You know, you're going to be guided to do towards different things into your life, you know. And when you're starting to get on that path of what you're allowing yourself to, you, when you when you start writing down the things that you want you know and saying I want to be more confident in myself it's like okay how do you feel like you can go about confidence or there'll be different things you know I want to stay faithful in myself or you know different things like that and when you start writing things out on saying hey I want to do this I want to you know I want to be able to see that and it's just like okay um universe is going to tell you hey it's all about your thought process are you focusing on things that you're wanting into your life instead of the things you don't want into your life are you thinking about possibilities that can come out into a positive perspective it's all about where your mind is going at are you staying focused on saying hey you know i'm being open towards it i have to be expected because there are going to be sometimes it's going to be a little bit bumpy but i have to be able to go through it and if there's times i'm getting a little bit frustrated let me go ahead and do a breathing exercise or let me just step away for a minute so i can collect my stuff and then come Come right back you know and that the, and you're gonna get tests like that and that's how you're gonna get more confident in yourself you know um and just saying it is it is is when you're making those choices to show okay I'm not into my my patterns because like I said we're in that vibration where whatever was toxic to you whatever is not needed anymore you're gonna be placed in certain situations certain experiences you know uh, certain levels to where it's dissolving that ego is dissolving your projections is dissolving your fear you know you're healing from your past you're healing from your trauma you're letting go of things you're forgiving things and this is when you're knowing you're more deserving of that because when you know when you're more deserving of that you're going to start eliminating the things that's either keeping you behind or throwing you back or um, keeping you stuck in a vibration you're no longer being in. You're getting out of that loop of whatever is repetitive to you. And those are the things you have to be able to be open with. It that is not going to be smooth sailing all the time, you know. And there's you know because I'll be like, oh, this is gonna, you know, and I'll be like that. But then I'll be like, okay, take a sip of tea, just like I'm doing now. 
breathe. You know, just breathe. You have to be able to tell yourself. You got to trust that process, and that process can be. It, it can send you a curveball at any time. You have to be able to be able to flow with that. You know, don't force nothing. Flow with it. You know, because they always tell you you get tired out real quick when you go against the current. You know, and sometimes I gotta remind myself of that. You know, because I'm like, man, it would be all choked up, and I'm just like, because it's just like a lot of times. You know, experiencing something, and it's just like with the content, like I write down, you know, I'll tell you, I'll be writing my stuff down, and it'll be just like, okay, is this something I'm feeling today, or is this something I'm being guided to talk about, because it's not just me going through it, but there's other people that are going through that as well, and they just need that encouragement, or they need to get that insight, or just being able to say, hey, you're not the only one experiencing this right now, and be like, Rosalind, this gave me chills, because how did you know I'm going through, because we're all going through it. It's like, I'm going to tell you a little secret. We're all going through it. It's just different situations on how we're dealing with it. You know, you're going through those emotions of, you know, not allowing yourself to know. Everything is, life is going to throw you ups and downs. You're going to have to have the goods and the lows. You're going to have to have the goods and the bad. You know, don't allow yourself, when, when universe is telling you step away from slumming, step away from it. You know, you're going through this thing, you know, because a lot of times we want to hang out with people. We want to be uh, constantly busy and sometimes because sometimes, you know, in the back of your mind, there's something that you're avoiding. You know, even if you don't want to admit it, there is something that you're avoiding. Either we're engaging in relations, you know, addictions. Old habits, old toxic patterns, you know, limited beliefs. We're allowing fear to take over our process. You know, we're, we're, we're either thinking about a, a, a toxic experience or a painful experience and it's, it, it's going. Because they always tell you, if a painful experience is coming up, how you can get through to that change on focusing on what you want. Okay, if this situation happened, okay, I have to forgive myself. I have to uh, see what the bigger picture is in this situation. If it's coming up, it's telling me I have to release it. But, but when I'm releasing it, am I giving it the gratitude of what the lesson was taught to me? Am I still holding myself? Um, am I still holding, being hard on myself about, you know, the situation? Am I still being hard on myself about what I haven't forgave? You know, forgive myself first of all. Forgive the person that's done it, whether or not they're sorry or not. Sometimes you have to just take that sorry and keep moving on. You know, allowing yourself to not... Anytime something's going on, it's a lesson that you need to learn about yourself, your surroundings, what you, which you are no longer attached with. You know, you have to be willing to say goodbye to have an epic hello. You know, and that, you know, there's all these different things that's going around. That's why I tell y'all, I really love taking that time off to myself because it's, it's allowing me to be very therapeutic with my vibrations. Even though I get frustrated with myself, I'm like, it's okay. Snap out of it, it's okay. I have to be able to touch my own shoulders and say, okay. Or my spirit guides, it's like, Rosalind, you're doing an awesome job. You know, but sometimes you just got to be able to take pause for the cause and then you come back and regroup you know and don't 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 take it all personal because this is just like a lot of times you can be you can be you have to be really grateful for everything you're going through even even things that are frustrated to you even things that you are terrified on doing but then you're allowing yourself to do it and then when you're when you when you see that you start doing new things and you're getting excited about that because see I'm being consistent with myself and then when you're doing that add on one little extra thing to it like, you know, okay, with me, you know, uh, say if I want to do four videos that day, and you know, and I've been doing that for the last few days, and it's like, hey, you know, add one more. And then when you start doing that, you know, I love doing my podcast. I haven't done my podcast in a while. Why don't I do one or two videos of that and throw that in the mix? And then you're like, okay, well, let me allow my, you know, I ain't been out in nature for a minute. Let me go ahead and do that and organize myself. You know, if you all over the place and say, I got to do this, I got to do that, especially with me, OCD and ADD and ADHD, I don't have that, but I'm just saying, you know, all that together, it's like, especially when you got OCD, everything can be amplified. You, It, it can be something very, very petty, very something like little, and we will blow it up to where, I mean, it can be very frustrating. So you have to be able to breathe. You know, take that breathing. You know, it's like inhale the good stuff, exhale the bad stuff. You know, allow yourself to say, hey, you're going to get through this. You know, it's always calm before the storm. It's always darkest before the dawn. You know, this is preparing me for greatness. It's getting me towards something I deserve. It's really helping me with my mental health. It's really creating that structure for my, my well-being, my higher being. It's helping me, you know, I've, I've been a work in progress for an, a long time. Now I'm just molding out my masterpiece. Because you've been in that, you know, 
that last two, three years, four years, you may have been going through it longer. You've been working on it, you know, trusting the process, you know, being able to stay out of the, the prog progress of the process of the progress, staying out of the way of that, allowing yourself to go with the flow. Now it's like you, you know, your foundation is already built. You just you add a brick by brick by brick by brick. And sometimes you gotta take a break because you're tired. You know, we we in a human suit. So there's gonna be days you're gonna get tired. There's gonna be days that but then it's just like, you know, they always want you to not, you know, go so much. You know what I'm saying? You can say that you can go four or five days, you know, three or four days, you know, depending on what you're going through, you know what I'm saying, or depending on what you're doing, you know, start off like you know, if you're you're creating something, this this is like it's different when you're having a job, you know. But when the people that are not working right now, and then the universe is trying to guide you towards something more promising towards yourself that that's creating better for you, and you're not knowing what's going on, Cer uncertainty, you're going through that. They give you, they're giving you a inkling, or it's giving you that little program, you know, that download upgrade, you know, because when you start clearing your mind, fasting, and stuff like that. And you're, when you're allowing yourself to meditate, go out. That's why they're telling you meditate a lot. You know, go out and um, go out in uh, nature and stuff like that. You're clearing your mind. When you're clearing your mind, you're leaving open for all the things that they're bringing in. Hey, you know, I need you to, you know, start working out a little bit more. You know, even when you're doing yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi, I love doing stuff like that. And you're moving through the the vibrations. You're you're releasing a lot of stuff. You know, your emotions get, you know, sometimes you can get very emotional doing that because you're releasing a lot of stuff. There's certain things it's in the cracks and crevices you didn't even know was still there. You know, you can think that you're forgiven on something and next you know come back and it hits you and you can get into your emotions. And that's okay. But you're allowing yourself, you're not, okay, I'm catching on my emotions and allowing myself to go through it. They always say, don't fight them emotions. Don't do that because that that's, that's undeserving to you. You know, you're trying to get to that peaceful spot. You know, there's going to be different surroundings around you. There's going to be friction. You know, that's all about healing. You you can't just heal without distractions being there. You know, different things is going to come into you. It could be people and their energy, or it could be certain things, the cir your circumstances that you're going through, your healing process, but you're, you're, you're rapidly dissolving that ego. You're going towards that vibration that's more deserving to you. You know, you're ending patterns. You're eating, ending... You know, curses and cycles and stuff like that. And that's not easy. That's not going to be a walk in the park all the time. So it's just like they're always telling you, be easy on yourself. You becoming a person you never discovered before. This is you, when you're being open to that. Congratulate yourself. Because if you're like doing, you know, you're doing something, you know, uh, you could have been a depressed, you know, man, a depressed. When we're when we're going through empathy, we, we got a lot of depression you're dealing with. You know, because you're dealing with things and you're, you know, people be like, snap out of it. You can't snap out of stuff like that. You know, that, I mean, that would be getting on my nerves. I've, I've heard people do that. Like, why can't they just walk it off? Depression is not something that you can just snap out of. That's something that you go through and they tell you it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay to be depressed. But don't unpack there. You know, there you may need a day or two to yourself to really reflect, but don't allow yourself to soak. I, I, you know, I've been there. I've been there. And it, it's just going through those different things at different times is no fun, you know. And, and it can really feel like you're under punishment. It can really feel like life is just not fair. God is just making you go through things. You know, why is God allowing people to do stuff to me? Or why is things going like this? And it's like you're going to go through all things where you're going to, sometimes you're going to be taking it personal. Even when it's directly going on with you, you know what you're going through. It can feel so personal. But this is something that you're doing. This is something that you've been deserving. Okay, you're, you're trying to get into that life where you're not allowing yourself to take everything that people do to you personal. Life that's coming at you, you're not taking it personal. You're trying yourself not to make it personal. But those for, you, for that to happen... You're going to have to be able to experience things. You're going to have to be able to go through things. Certain things are going to be blocked. Certain things are going to be di disconnected. Certain things are going to be added. Certain things are going to be subtract subtracted. You know, you're going to be able to have to accept things for certain things. You're going to have to let certain people go. You're going to have to let certain parts of yourself go. Because a lot of times it's like, oh, I don't want to talk to that person. They're too toxic and this and this and that. You know, they always say, and I had to be able to, I always got to remind myself, hey, don't judge nobody. 
Just because you're going through that healing vibe don't mean everybody going through it right now. Because there's times that when people telling you to heal, you need to let this go. You need to do this. You need to do that. And you do that little, you know, whatever. Side eye rolling your eyes. You There was a time that you were there. You know. So you can't criticize people because they're not doing things the way you want them to do it. You can't expect somebody to be on a certain level when they're not ready to get there or they're not accepting that part to get there. You have to just expect, accept them for what they are. You, you can continue to connect with them or just saying, hey, you know, our end is quit. Got to go. Or sometimes you just got to just let go. You know, there's times I have, you know, I let people know, hey, you know, I'm sorry, but I got to go. Or there's times where you just, you know, you get ready to text me the next day and it's, you know, you can't text me. I blocked you, you know, because a lot of times if we connected like that, you already knew it was happening, <laughs> you know, and I had to be like that. But it's just at that time when you're going through that change, there's cycles that you're going through. And sometimes it's going to be rude to you and sometimes it's going to be rude to other people. And sometimes people are like, who does he think he is? Or who does she think she is? Oh, they ain't like, oh, they act like they brand new. No, there are certain things you're just not entertaining anymore. And it's not the fact that you feel like I'm feeling like I'm better than you or you think I'm better than you. It's just the fact is there are certain things I'm not entertaining anymore. I'm starting to be on my boundaries. When I say no, I mean no. If I don't want to answer the phone, I don't want to be bothered with you today, you just going to have to be able to take that and take it where it is. If somebody, hey, I just don't want to be bothered today. Or if somebody's, you know, going through their thing and they just say, you know, it may feel like they're ignoring you. You have to understand they, they need their personal time too. not. You have to be, sometimes you have to learn to not be available all the time. You know, because sometimes you can be humble and there are certain times you can be too humble where you're being overlooked. Or people choosing not to hear you because you ain't being aggressive enough. And it's like, okay, you ain't hear me. All right. You ain't got to worry about hearing me. You ain't got to worry about hearing me ever again. You know, and just be that way. And you have to be able to accept it and just say, hey, there's sometimes you got to be, it is what it is. Or it was fun while it lasted. Or it's time for me to get on, out of here and go on to move to the next next stage. And that's what you're doing. When you're starting to be more assertive about your mental health, your well-being, your self-love, your self-worth, your self-care, that's when you know that ego, ego is dissolving. You're allowing those boundary structures to get a lot solid, a lot more harder, a lot more aggressive. You start to be more aggressive with what you're choosing to select, what you're choosing to choose, what you're choosing to welcome in because this is your vessel. You are your, your first lover, your best friend. You were stuck with this until God departs you in, out of this vessel and you moving on to the upper room. You know, and this is what you're doing. So you're making those choices to be more deserving for what you're wanting to have to come forward to your life. You know, you have to allow, there's, you know, there's, you, you'll be lying if you say that, oh, I'm not going to fear what people, you know, what people are trying to do coming up to me. You know, don't allow yourself to feel what other people are thinking because that means that you're allowing yourself to validate. You're define, you're allowing other people to define how you are. You, you know, sometimes you got to tell somebody, oh, they, well, they still got that old part of me, my old version of me. Okay, if they want to use that, that's fine. You know, they're like, oh, okay, if that's what you want to, if you want to entertain that, that's fine too. You know, and that just made my choice either. Oh, okay, oh, you know, you don't want to hear two sides of the story. That made my choice. Well, let me go ahead and exit myself out out your life and it's been you know and I had to be at that, that point where you know it's not about me being mean it's not about me being fake it's not about that but it's just at that point some some things have expiration dates some things had to have an end if I'm ready to begin something else there's certain things that's going to have to end in my life there's certain things that I can't keep doing there's not a lot of people there are certain people I can't keep talking to there are certain people that I can't be connected to and you're going through that life on you. And it's a lot of times it's hard, you know. Oh, and it made me think about my girl, uh, uh, Erica Mason. That girl got some very bomb songs. Because it's like a lot of times I've um, shared her her music from IG on my um, platform. And it's very, very therapeutic. You know, certain things. I even had to give her a thumbs up for that. I had to screenshot it. Because that made me feel really good when I told her, girl, you just don't know how much your music. You know, it'll, I can go through something very heavy. And it's like the universe is so in tune with me. And I have to say thank you. I'm grateful for that. And thank God. You know, because there will be certain things that come on. And she, she got a song called Walk Away Unappreciated. 
you know better you know it, it's just certain things like that um un, 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 yeah i already said unappreciated but it'll be a certain song that's really grooving with me really connecting with me you know and universe is your best friend you know soul you know creator source is your best friend and there'll be times you have to be able to just shut everybody out to get yourself figured out because that's what you're doing right now. And, if, you know, if you're on that verge of doing that, that's what you're going to do. This. So these are the things that you have to expect when you are really trying to heal that ego. And it's not easy to do, especially if you've been living in that vibration for so long. When you're getting out of that routine to be out of that routine. But, you know, especially if you you know how your character is and you know how it, it, it flows. If you're that person that loves to take the challenges, God bless you and I love you for that. But there are some people we do not like. We And I say we because I, I'll be there, you know. And I'm not going to say I've been there because there's times that I, I can say I've been there and I'm cool with it. And there's sometimes I can get very in my feelings. I'm like, Lord, you know, you, know, you got me in my feels right now. It's like, well, get out of them. You, you you say you want this all right then you're gonna have to do this and then it's like you know what they right i'm wrong <laughs> you know and going about the business but when you congratulations on that you know it, like i said even if it, it doesn't matter even if it's the littlest change you're stepping in and out you know you could be like i said you could be that person that has been going through a very uh heavy moment of depression just for you to get up out of the bed, you know, say, okay, I'm, I'm you know, you could be a wash up person, you know, and then all of a sudden today, uh, I, I, you know, I take a shower or, you know, or I take a shower and I get dressed because sometimes you can take a shower and put, put back your pajamas on and go right back to bed. But then you get in that, that point where let me get out of bed, you know. Uh, let me go ahead and move around your change, you know, your decluttering your house and you don't people really don't realize You know, I always say, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness. I always feel a lot better I don't know if you in in the comment section Let me know do you feel a lot better when your house is clean or when you start getting I mean, I feel so good and you don't realize you're cutting away from a lot of excess things There's a lot of times where it's like I, I, I'm my, my thing is I love my house to be clean you know, and I'm looking like, you know, I'm telling my ex, I'm like, hey, you know, get rid of some of them clothes. I'm like, I don't like my clothes. And I'm like, look, organize it, do this. Do I, well, I got time. Okay. okay. You know, and I have to be able to leave it alone. But he know how I am. We've been like this for years. You know, a lot of times, sometimes opposites do attract. I'm just that type of person. I like all my stuff together. If I know I'm not wearing it no more, you know, my, my weight fluctuates. And if there's things like, okay, you know, I, I'm working on losing this weight and I really want to keep this. Or something like, girl, you know, that is just out. No. Give that to somebody else. There's somebody out there that's, you know, needing some clothes. You ain't got to throw them away. You can give them the goodwill and stuff like that. You know, people be going down there and be trying to get stuff at Thrifty Mart or wherever you have and wherever you're at. You know, and clearing your house out. You know, just from you doing that one day and you've been in the bed for weeks, you've been in the bed for months. You need to go ahead and then write down the things that you, you know, you did out the norm. You know, when you're getting out of that. And then you'll start seeing, you know, even though you're like... You can be in that vibration where you're in that depression. Like things are really not changing. And it's just like what are you focusing on? Because a lot of times we feel like you you know, you know, don't realize just because you're in that depression. Saying you know um, things are really not changing. You may not know you're in that next new phase. And not even know that. You know because a lot of times you got to understand. When we in new phases stuff start getting depressing at times. Stuff start getting real frustrating and very uncomfortable. And they tell you all the time. Get comfortable of being uncomfortable. Get, get, you know, get open and get excited about, you know, that new change that's coming in. Because a lot of times if you me, you a numbers girl, you know, you, you, you like that. You know, you don't start reading them like, oh, what is the universe telling me today? Okay, I see 65, 65, I see 333, I see 444. What is it trying to tell me? You know, or I might see a spirit uh, spirit told them, what, 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 is, what is the beaver telling me? What is the puma telling me? What is the bat telling me? You know, or, you know, a bumblebee's coming around you. What does that mean? You know, and, and it's just like so many different things is talking to you. And it's, you know, when you're allowing yourself and you know there's something in you that's changing, you know, you just be amazed when you allowing yourself to be open and saying, universe, please, God, please, you know, really, I know you're trying to work with me and I'm trying to work with you to work with me, you know, and when you allowing yourself to step out and allowing them to help guide you, you'd be amazed what the universe start doing for you.
you'd be amazed. And I, when I say I've seen it big time, I've really seen it big time. I might have a hiccup every now and then, but it's when you change the way you're looking at things, life starts changing for you. So allow yourself to know. Start writing down different things that you're doing out the norm. If there are certain things that you're wanting into your life and you're actually making that, that step to do that, congratulate yourself because that means that you're working with that change instead of going against it and resisting it. You know, if it's frustrating, you have to understand you coming into a new cycle. There's going to be certain things you're not going to understand. There will be certain things that's just not going to go your way. There's going to be certain things you're going to have to just sacrifice, accept, and change. Let go, release, allow yourself. Is this something irrelevant? Irrelevant. Am I allowing myself to observe or am I allowing myself to absorb? Am I allowing myself to allow myself to sometimes you gotta even put up walls to make sure certain things just gonna have to wonder how come they ain't triggering you and how come you just ain't they you becoming unreachable and untouchable. Sometimes you got please. You know, I, I forgot what if you even see that post of like there, please, this person's going through their healing change. Don't you know don't disturb this line. You know, if you're coming up with triggers, you're coming up with uh, problems, issues, drama, or just unnecessary things. Please do not try to call this this number again. Click. There ain't even way you can even leave a message. It's going to even block the message you bring in because we already know it's not going to be good. That's letting you know you're allowing change to take place into your life. You are going for what you deserve, regardless about whatever is out there to make sure that you, they don't deserve that. You keep going. You know what you deserve. You know, send goodness out to e you know to everything, even when it feels like it's not coming back at you. You keep you keep don't let experiences and people harden your heart. Don't allow yourself to do that. You are a blessing regardless. Everybody is a blessing in their own way. You are a blessing. You are a walking blessing. Don't let anybody else tell you that because you are. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. I would love to give a post notification shout out uh, to uh, Trishelle Williams, Baby Steg. Much love to you as well. Wildflower. And... um. Midnight Robs, much uh, I said Midnight Robs, Mighty Robs, much love to you. And Amari Sega, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. Please drop a line. You know, if you're going through these different things, you know, drop a line. Let me know. You know, we're all going through stuff and you're healing it or you're going through that process. Please just trust it. And a lot of times it may feel like things aren't changing, but you don't know what's going be BTS. You just don't know what's going on. Everything's working in your favor. You just got to keep going at it. Be consistent with yourself. Persistent and consistent. Keep on going. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. You know, you'll be able to contact me it's all about spiritual networking just to give you a deeper understanding or maybe you may be sharing you want to share something with me that you're going through and you really just trying to find the gist of it you know or you know say Rosalyn have you ever heard of this or you know because there's a lot of things y'all come up and ask me and I love the fact that y'all let me interact in your life like that because I know it's hard for you to trust with everything that's going on or maybe just things that you have gone through where it's hard for you to be open to people and I try to tell people all the time I'm not being judgmental if you ain't touching little kids or you ain't harming other folks like grown old, old folks and toss them down the flight of stairs then I, I ain't put no judgment on you I ain't put no judgment on you so um you know whatever you you know whatever you we're talking about is totally confidential it's discreet you know i'll help out the best way i possibly can i also leave my link out to my podcast as well um, and also I leave my cash app in case you feel generous enough to give a donation it's greatly appreciated have, please have a safe weekend I can't believe how fast this week is going so please be you know safe and responsible at everything you do whatever you're trying to manifest into your life you know keep going keep be consistent sometimes it feel like things ain't going for your way and you just don't know you can give up today and next thing you know that tomorrow when you made that bold choice you could be winning tomorrow so do not give up on what you're doing you don't know what the universe is you know planning for you in your favor you know you're working you're learning you're healing and you're accepting so you know just keep going trust the process be patient i don't like that word it's like a cuss word and i don't like it but i have to love it at the same time so you know be uh be safe you know and just know that it is coming whatever you're working on is coming at least when you expect it so keep going you know challenge yourself you know raise the bar 
you know, you just really never know what, what what's going to be in store for you for that. And you never, you, there are going to be certain things you're going to really surprise yourself. You're going to find out about yourself. So I'll talk to you on my next video. Much love to you. Much love. You know, God bless. Namaste. And, you know, um, yeah, even through social distancing, make sure you can send out a lot of love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. That can really take somebody a long way. And just for you stepping out, of, you know, stepping out and doing that for somebody else and being selfless, that can really take you even further. Much love. Peace. Namaste.